You can see all the, the fat. Petty Trader here, worst of a blocked drain, that's right. Worst to see Alan, and he's got a blocked kitchen sink. So this blocked drain, what Alan said to me is he's had one plumber go out there twice. He told me the plumbing company's name. It's really interesting. They're a big company. Uh, it's really interesting that they've taken this strategy with clearing this line. The way they're doing it is that they're taking the piss, pretty much. It's, it, in my opinion, and you know, my opinion's probably worth nothing. Yeah, you know, I, I don't clear many drains whatsoever, so how would I know? <laughs> so what they did, they sent a young fella out with a sandy snake, which is like a, a little electric snake, and he, he snaked the line. Uh, three, four weeks later, locked up, they called him back, went out again, paid him the full price again, and this time they ran the electric eel down there. Uh, two weeks later, backed up again. Uh, then he contacted them and they said, well, we have to come out and probably jet the line and, and look into it and see what's going on. Uh, and now Alan's lost a bit of confidence with them and uh, he found me and asked how I would clear the drain. I told him straight up, this is how I do things. And uh, he said, let's go, come out, let, let's see if we can get this sorted. So we're gonna go there, see what these other plumbers have done, see if we can just get it cleared. So if it's pretty standard and straightforward, they don't make a lot of great content. That's why I don't record as many of them these days. But I'm gonna record this one because I like the fact that another plumber's had two goes at it and failed. So let's go there and see if we get it all sorted. Right up, I'll see you when I get there. So they've had another plumber out here. He's been out twice. Uh, first time around a sandy snake down, lasted maybe three, four weeks. Uh, came back out. Then next time he ran an eel down there, electric eel, lasted a couple of weeks. So this has been an ongoing problem. Uh, they've lost a bit of confidence in him. So they've asked me to come out and I'm just gonna jet it. It's blocked with grease pretty close here. So I'm just gonna chuck on a small penetrating nozzle and see if I can just work a hole through it first because what's going to happen is all the water is just going to keep coming back. So I'm going to rag it to try and keep the water in there. If that doesn't work, I'll grab R2-D2s to suck while I jet uh, to prevent mess. But first things first, let's just try rag and see how we go. We're on the grease blockage right there. So you can just smell the fat at the moment. You can see it's coming up. Let's see if we can work, work our way through. So I've got to keep this rag on to try and keep as much water contained. You can see it all coming out the pressure because that line's pretty charged up.
Okay. We just bit into something then. Okay. Could I get you to flush the toilets down a couple of times? Yes, please, that's okay. So, I like to flush the toilets when I'm doing this, and that allows to put some water in the main drain too. So if there's any fat or anything that gets pushed in, we can just work it to the um, um, infrastructure main drain. Okay, feels very, looks like there's a lot, a lot of fat. Okay, let's go again. Okay, so line's still blocked. That's good that it's not backing up now that I can keep that towel off. So I'm going down a little bit of distance now. Might kill that, flick the camera down and, and have a look.
You can see all the, the fat. It's like a coffee milkshake or a chocolate milkshake, just not crunchy. You want to be a plumber? <laughs> uh, this is all pretty gross at the moment, mate. Yeah. Pretty gross stuff. See all the fat here? We still got a bit of work to do. Um, I think we've worked a little hole. We need to put on a bigger nozzle, bigger hole. Okay, spinning nozzle. Ideal for kitchen setups. Good for cleaning fat, but look at this, fits down that 50 mil pipe. Okay, let's see if we can get through it. So we're just feeding this nozzle down, just trying to clear the wall, but also just keep moving the the chunks of fat. I'm guessing it's chunks of fat down there. Okay, let's pull this one out, then we'll camera again. See if we can get a picture. Nothing. Let's run some water down. This will help get rid of the foamy stuff from the back. So 
let's flick this camera down and see if we can get a picture this time. Is the council main area? Yep. Or manhole. See all that there. Yep. So we're 35 meters down, 34 meters down. So I've just gone all the way, or as far as I could, so we can just check that the rest of the line downstream is good. Yep. That's the way the toilet thing goes that well. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I'll get you to flush the toilet actually. Make it go fast. Okay. Go fast toilet. Okay. Um, Which one? Anyone, mate? It's just anyone. Yeah. Just get a bit of water behind the, through the pipe and maybe clean that lens. It's got like fat or something on it. So it's, it's all clear, mate. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Flush it. Yeah. Did you flush it? Yeah. Mum's toilet or the other side one? It'll take a while. It's got 30 metres of pipe work to go through. <laughs> yeah. Quite holding up, quite did the water come? Yeah. So we'll pull this back and I'll just show you what. That's the soil pipe. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Come here. Is that right? Yeah. We need to pull back up. So the main area of concern is in the first, you know, that first five or so metres, I reckon. From memory. But you've got to chop it all up and break it down and move it to the main. Mm. Otherwise, if you leave big chunks of fat in your pipe, it'll just cause another blockage. So that's the reason for the camera also, is just to check. So we can go down as far as we can to make sure it's all no big chunks. Little chunks are okay, because they'll just move through the system. You just don't want anything big sitting there. Yep. Is that a 50 mil pipe? No, no, 100 mil. 100 mil. That's okay. 50 there. Right. Then it reduces the 100 mil at slab. Right, okay. Yeah. 100 mil pipe all the way to yeah, the, yeah, the, the soil main. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right it, it just rises up in 50 mil in some sections. So we If we build a new home, can we ask the builder to even do a bigger one? Nah, no, I think they're just. I think 100 mil is what's what Standard. it is, yeah. Yeah, right. Because there's no need for a bigger one. It's just locked. <laughs> so, you know, you get it clear, then it's, it's all good. So, you can see there's just nothing in there. It's just clear. Yeah. It's all just bits of water in it. Okay, 14 metres, so about halfway. This is where we were getting where it was, yeah, junction here, yeah, okay. So this is probably the main area of concern, this seven meter section. That's not blocked. There's nothing. There. Oh, that's clean ass. Hey! 
Just so you can see it set up. I'll clear, clean this up here and just go down to that seven meters, that junction. That should be a better picture. So you can see here it's all clear. Yeah, when I first put the camera down, I couldn't even go past that. Okay. So you can see here. Are the wet? Are the wet what's the wet? Why does it? Just that's, paint? that's bits of fat. Oh, okay. So it's fat like a foam. See how it foams up? Yep. Yeah, so that could be a small bit of fat or a bit of foam, but it's not It's not going to cause a blockage. Yeah, right. Yeah. And see how it's nice and clean all the way down. Yeah, mate. We're done. Sweet. And there's no signs of breaks or problems. Hey, no, no. So yeah, there's that junction. So we'll give this a clean up in here, reconnect it all, and um, test it, and it should be all good. Okay, burn goes on. Connect up this trap. Oh no, all good mate. All good. This is all connected back up. Fanco. I use Fancos, so if you ever have to get back down there in the future, hopefully I don't, um, it's easier access and I don't have to cut the pipe and have multiple sockets on there. So all that's connected. Replace the rubbers on the trap also. No plugs, so hand is the next best option. So I'm just going to fill this up, drain it. So when I came here this was holding water. So it was pretty badly blocked but we got it. Perfect. Let's finish packing up. That was very successful drain clean. It drains fine now. Camera it all the way to the council infrastructure so I know the whole drain is clear I don't know why other plumbers mess around and sandy snake and eel you're going through a 50 mil pipe and then you got to try and clear a 100 mil pipe you're just not 
you're not going to do a good job. You're just punching a small hole through it and it's just going to block up in a short period of time. Best way with that, in my opinion, is jet it. Next would be flex shaft because the flex shaft can go down to 50 mil. Then you can get the chains to open up in that 100 mil to clean the walls. They're my two ways. Right up. I'll see you on the next one.